The holiday season is once again upon us, my friends, and while it's not quite time to reflect on this past year just yet, looking back really quick, there were tons of incredible things to happen, most notably in the world of gaming with the Nintendo Switch. It's safe to say that the Switch had one of its best years yet in 2021. It's crazy to think that after almost five years on the market, it's still one of the hottest items of the holiday season. It's wild how much success Nintendo has had and continues to have with these consoles. I think it's safe to say that it has become one of, if not the best console of my lifetime. I never thought I would ever say that because I've gone through the Game Boys, the DS, the 3DS, the N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, but there's something different about the Switch. Not only the unique hardware, but the consistent stream of incredible AAA games being released. It seems like it hasn't slowed down since the console launched, with new games coming out week after week after week. It's truly incredible incredible and it's no doubt a factor that keeps the switch at the top of everyone's holiday wish list so if you're thinking about buying a switch for yourself or to give as a gift this holiday which model should you get it's the question that most people are going to be asking themselves this year there's the handheld only switch light the regular switch and the new oled switch each offer a different set of features at various different price points all of them do however give you access to the unbelievable library of switch games so hardware really does come down to personal preference which one you should get depends on how you or the person you're buying for plans to use the Switch. And this year, more so than ever before, there's something for everyone. This year, Nintendo launched the new OLED Nintendo Switch. It's the high-end model in the lineup with a gorgeous 7-inch OLED display, a wider, more adjustable kickstand around back, louder built-in speakers, a bump in internal storage, and a redesigned dock with an Ethernet port. It's the most expensive Switch in the lineup, and when you hold it, it's easy to see why that is. The OLED LED model makes games pop like never before on that beautiful, vibrant display. Games like Metroid Dread and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl really showcase just how gorgeous things look here. Compared to the other models, especially side by side, the difference is noticeable. It's a big step up in every single way, especially for those that primarily play in handheld mode. If you already have a Switch and you primarily play dock to the TV, there's really no difference here aside from that redesigned dock with Ethernet port. That Ethernet port will be useful to some, but for others, it won't even be used. Aside from the OLED switch, the other option available this holiday season is the regular switch, the one that started it all. While I would recommend the OLED switch over the regular one if you can snag one, especially since they're so close in price, the regular switch is still a solid option, and it seems like it comes with a free game as well that sweetens the deal even more. It might not have all the fancy improvements that the new model has, but you might not need them. As mentioned before, if you primarily play dock to the TV, there is no difference here. The screen on the Switch is no slouch either. I always raved about how sharp and vibrant it is since this console launched, and still to today, it holds up really great. You definitely cannot go wrong with the Switch that started it all. And lastly available this holiday season is the Nintendo Switch Lite. The Switch Lite is the simplest and cheapest model in the lineup that's dedicated solely to handheld play. Think of it as the Game Boy or the 2DS of the Switch line. It plays all of your favorite games in a very small, lightweight, and ultra-portable form factor. It's an incredible grab-and-go portable console that's great to have with you for whenever you feel like gaming. The only downsides with the light is that it does have shorter battery life compared to the others, and if you're a content creator, you can dock it to record or stream gameplay, so do keep those things in mind. The light is arguably the most comfortable way to dive into the unbelievable library of Switch games. Dare I say, it's a near-perfect grab-and-go console. In the end, no matter which model you decide to go with each of these consoles play games exactly the same since they all have the same internal specs. So the cheapest Switch Lite still has the same specs as the new OLED model. So like I said before, it really does all come down to personal preference in the hardware and what features you need. Ask yourself this, will I only be playing games on the go? Will I be playing dock to the TV? Maybe recording or streaming gameplay? Answering those questions should make it a bit easier to decide on a model this holiday season. Take what you can get and give what you can give this holiday because a Switch in general is no doubt going to be tough to come by. It's the gift that keeps on giving and anyone who's able to snag a Switch or get one as a gift this holiday, they are very lucky. There's never been a better time to own a Switch. Anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at Ray on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.